So this is the LSM remote. Basically the way this one is set up, we have four camera angles coming in and we have two output channels, program one and program two. And you can control them here, program one, here, program two, and you also have an all option, which allows you to control them both at the same time. So if we focus on program one, as soon as I turn my jog wheel, we're able to rewind back. And you can fling it, rewind back as fast as possible. You can also shift fast jog to achieve even faster speeds going back. And then you can disable that and still go back to your regular jogging speed. And then you would flip to your other, your second program, and jog it and set up a point for a replay. So maybe this is my point of replay. And then on my program one, my point of replay is maybe here. So in order to engage the replays, you use your T-bar to roll them and then your speed is in the bottom right. So if you take the T-bar all the way up, that's 100%. And then when you take it down, you can get slower and slower and slower, 1%, and then zero, completely frozen. So that's basically the process. You queue up an action, and then you play it for air. And then you flip to another one, and you play that one for air. Once you find an action that you like, you queue it up, you make it in, you go forward to when it's over, you make it out, and then you save it in one of the empty F keys. If the F key is lit up, that means that a clip already exists there. You can press it, and then the clip is automatically called up. This is the clip that we just created. You then have options to label that clip. You could scroll forward if I wanted it to start here. I could scroll forward and make a new in just by pressing that and I can make it out there just by pressing that. So now our clip is short. <laughs> and that's the duration of our clip. You always still have those guard bands at the top and the bottom of the in and out that I made. So if I wanna remake the in, I just scroll back and you'll see that it says minus in. So that's how much we're ahead how much time before our end that we initially made, and then you pr press in, and the end is updated. We'll go to the end of the clip. It's at zero, zero, but you can keep scrolling past it. So that's two seconds past the out for five seconds past the out, and I'll make a new out there. So now the clip has been restored back to the original time. Mm -hmm. And then once I'm done and I want to go back to my live cameras that are coming in, again, four inputs, record one, two, three, four. Once it's done, you want to go back to live, you press record. And then that output is back in live, and I'll do the same for output B. So now we see our input, and it's the same as our output. So you see, as soon as I start rolling back, the input never stops. EBS is always recording. You can see the red recording. It's always recording. So then you're able to re uh, repeat that action of taking your jog wheel, rolling it back, making it in, going forward, making it out, and then recalling it for a replay or just to label. Plus, 